Have you ever questioned why society holds certain beauty standards? It's vital to probe these norms, to dig beneath the surface of what we're told is beautiful. The media, societal pressures, they all mold our perception of beauty, often without us even realizing. It's the billboard on your way to work, the models gracing magazine covers, the influencers on your social feeds. Body positivity pushes back, questioning these ingrained standards and fostering acceptance. Body positivity challenges these norms and encourages acceptance of all bodies. The body positivity movement didn't just appear overnight. Our story begins back in the 1960s with the inception of the fat acceptance movement. This was a time when societal norms and expectations were being challenged on multiple fronts. The civil rights movement, anti-war protests and women's liberation were all in full swing. Amidst this backdrop of social upheaval, a new voice began to emerge. A voice that challenged the pervasive societal norms about body size and shape. The fat acceptance movement as it was called, was born from a growing frustration with societal expectations of thinness. The pioneers of this movement were not only brave, but also fierce. They refused to accept the prevailing narrative that equated thinness with beauty and health. Instead, they championed the radical idea that all bodies regardless of size, deserve respect and acceptance. As the decades rolled on this movement evolved and grew. In the 1990s it adopted the term body positivity. This was more than just a name change it represented a shift in focus. While the fat acceptance movement was primarily concerned with challenging societal norms around weight, the body positivity movement broadened this scope. It sought to challenge all forms of body shaming and discrimination, including those based on race, gender, age and disability. The 2000s saw the rise of social media, and with it, a new platform for the body positivity movement. Activists used these platforms to share their stories, challenge societal norms, and inspire others to embrace their bodies. The movement grew exponentially, reaching people across the globe and inspiring a new generation of activists. The body positivity movement is more than just an acceptance of all body types, it's a rejection of the idea that our self-worth is tied to our physical appearance. It's a call to action, a demand for change. It's about challenging the status quo and demanding that society recognizes the inherent worth and beauty of all bodies. The body positivity movement has always been about challenging societal norms and promoting acceptance. So why does body positivity matter? Well, it's simple. Body positivity plays a crucial role in fostering self-esteem and mental health. Imagine a world where everyone is comfortable in their own skin, where we celebrate our unique bodies rather than criticize or compare them. Sounds wonderful, right? That's the essence of body positivity. The concept of body positivity isn't just about promoting the acceptance of all body types, it's about challenging the way we perceive beauty and health. It's about breaking free from the societal standards that have been ingrained in us for so long. Body positivity encourages us to embrace our bodies, with all its unique shapes, sizes, and colors, and to understand that our worth is not defined by our physical appearance. On the other hand, body shaming, a harmful practice that body positivity seeks to eliminate, can have severe consequences. Body shaming contributes to a negative body image which can lead to a multitude of mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. But it doesn't stop there. This negative body image can also induce eating disorders, an alarming reality that affects millions of individuals globally. Body shaming can manifest in many ways from blatant insults to subtle comments. It can come from strangers, friends, family, and even from ourselves. The impacts of these harmful words and actions are not to be underestimated. They can profoundly affect a person's mental health and overall well-being. But here's where the power of body positivity comes in. By fostering a positive body image, we can combat these harmful effects. We can promote better mental health, improve self-esteem and encourage healthier relationships with our bodies. Body positivity can inspire us to love ourselves as we are, to respect our bodies, and to appreciate what it does for us every day. So body positivity isn't just a trendy hashtag or a fleeting movement, it's a mindset, a shift in perception, a way of life. It's about more than just feeling good about your body. It's about promoting mental health and well-being. Body positivity is about acceptance, respect, and above all, love for ourselves and our bodies. Diet culture is everywhere, but is it healthy? Let's delve into this question. Diet culture, a term that's become ubiquitous, is a system of beliefs that worships thinness and equates it to health and moral virtue. 
It promotes the idea that losing weight is the direct path to a happier, healthier life. But let's take a moment and question this narrative. The danger of diet culture is that it encourages unhealthy behaviors and attitudes towards food and exercise. It fosters a sense of guilt about eating bad foods, leading to restrictive diets and an unhealthy obsession with counting calories. This can spiral into disordered eating habits, negatively impacting both physical and mental health. Moreover, diet culture can create a toxic relationship with exercise. It pushes the narrative that exercise is merely a tool for weight loss, rather than a means of enjoying movement and enhancing overall well-being. This skewed perspective can lead to over-exercising, causing physical strain and emotional stress. Diet culture is also a breeding ground for body dissatisfaction and low self-esteem. It sells the illusion of a perfect body, ignoring the fact that bodies naturally come in all shapes and sizes. This constant pursuit of an unattainable ideal can lead to body dissatisfaction, negatively affecting mental health and quality of life. But there's a counter-narrative gaining momentum, body positivity. The body positivity movement challenges diet culture, promoting the acceptance and appreciation of all body types. It encourages a balanced, flexible approach to eating, where no food is labeled as good or bad. It advocates for joyful movement, where exercise is seen as a celebration of what our bodies can do, not a punishment for what we ate. Body positivity promotes a healthier relationship with food and exercise, fostering self-love and acceptance. It encourages us to listen to our bodies and nourish them with kindness, recognizing that health is not determined solely by size. Diet culture is not about health, it's about control. Body positivity promotes a healthier relationship with food and exercise. Let's challenge diet culture and embrace body positivity for a happier, healthier relationship with our bodies. Can you be healthy at any size? This question sets the stage for our exploration of the health at every size movement, an important piece of the body positivity puzzle. Health at every size, or haze, is a movement that challenges the traditional notion that thinness equates to healthiness. It operates on the premise that health can be achieved and maintained, irrespective of one's size. It's about breaking free from the shackles of societal standards and embracing the fact that health and well-being are multi-dimensional concepts, extending beyond mere physical attributes. This movement aligns perfectly with the ethos of body positivity. It champions the idea that everybody is a good body and that everybody deserves respect and care, regardless of its size. Body positivity and haze both advocate for self-love, acceptance, and respect for all bodies, promoting a healthier relationship with oneself and with one's body. But let's not forget health is not just about size, it's also about lifestyle and mental well-being. A person can be in a larger body and still lead an active lifestyle, eat a balanced diet, and maintain good mental health. Similarly, a person can be thin, but may have an unhealthy lifestyle or poor mental health. The Hayes movement aims to shift the focus from weight to overall health and well-being. This approach encourages people to listen to their bodies, eat intuitively, and engage in physical activities that they enjoy, rather than forcing themselves into punishing diets and exercise regimes. It embraces the idea that everyone has a unique body that deserves to be cared for and loved regardless of its size. In a world that often equates thinness with health and success, the health at every size movement and the body positivity movement are vital. They remind us that everybody is different, everybody is unique, and everybody deserves respect and care. Health is not a size and body positivity recognizes this. So let's celebrate our bodies in all their diversity and strive for health and happiness, rather than fitting into a one-size-fits-all mold. Not all spaces that claim to promote body positivity actually do. It's a sad truth, but a reality we need to confront. The body positivity community, like any other, has its fair share of toxic spaces. These spaces often masquerade as beacons of acceptance, but they can foster negativity, self-doubt, and division. These toxic spaces can be tricky to navigate, often promoting unrealistic standards or harmful practices in the guise of body positivity. And this is where we need to be vigilant. We must recognize that body positivity is about acceptance and health, not just about size or shape. It's about feeling good in your skin, respecting your body, and valuing its functionality over its aesthetics. So, how can we navigate these toxic spaces? Firstly, be critical of the messages you're consuming. If a space or a message makes you feel less than, inadequate, or promotes unhealthy behaviors, it's time to step away. Secondly, seek out spaces that genuinely promote acceptance and health. These places will encourage diversity, 
respect for all bodies, and promote a balanced approach to health. They won't promise quick fixes or sell you on the idea that happiness lies in a certain body type. Lastly, remember that your body positivity journey is personal. It's about learning to love and accept yourself and it's a journey that's unique to you. Real body positivity promotes acceptance and health, not hate and division. So, let's strive for that, and let's navigate away from toxicity towards genuine acceptance and love for our bodies.